What's going on? Um, I want to shoot this video just to show the, the underbelly of success again for you guys. Because, you know, a lot of the stuff that I post on here is very motivational. I know you can barely see me right now because it's pitch black out. I'm driving on the highway and it's pretty late at night and there's really no, like, lamps around here. So if I get to the point where there's some light, you'll see me. But um, I wanted to post a little bit about again, the underbelly of success. And what I mean by that is the stuff that nobody shows you, right? One of the things as you're going down this journey, you're going to find a lot of times you're by yourself. You know, your friends are out doing things, they're having fun, and you're working. You know, you are trying to make something of yourself, you're trying to get ahead, you're putting in long hours, and you know, a lot of times during that journey, it doesn't feel as if you're you're getting that far. You know what? Let me just turn this on. There we go. There we go. I'll drive around with the light on. Everybody will think there's something wrong with my truck. <laughs> um, so you'll you'll be living your life and you'll be trying to achieve these goals. And there's going to be a lot of people who misunderstand what you're trying to do. There's going to be a lot of naysayers. There's going to be a lot of people who do not believe in you. That happens a lot. And oftentimes, those are the people closest to you. They're your, they're your best friends. They're your family members, your coworkers, whoever it is. There's a lot of people out there who will doubt you. And what happens a lot of times is you end up having to cut these people out. So, you know, what ends up happening is that the underbelly that I keep referring to of becoming successful is that the road and the journey is very lonely at times because you're not going to be understood. You're not going to have a lot of support at times and you're going to be so busy and, and uncharacteristically predisposed that you're going to stop being invited out to things sometimes. You know, the, the Hollywood visage of somebody who's successful is somebody who has this bang in life and everything's awesome and they're always at these parties they're always you know have are surrounded by people who love and adore them they're constantly doing big things and all of that stuff does happen don't get me wrong but what hollywood doesn't show and what a lot of the success gurus out there they don't show is all of the hours that are put in behind the scenes to make all of that possible, to grow themselves, all of the study, all of the time spent by themselves, typically, as they're building themselves and building their life. And, you know, tonight, it just kind of got to me a little bit, you know, again, because um, I get lonely sometimes, you know? I mean, obviously, I have friends. Obviously, I can make calls to people, but my days are typically spent moving in the direction of achieving what I'm trying to. I mean, for example, today is Sunday. I have spent my entire Sunday making things happen for myself. And you know what? I made $3,000. Actually, I made $3,780 something dollars today, which is, which is great. Which is great. You know, a $3,000 day, that's fucking great, you know, um, but the way that my day went, I woke up at six in the morning, it's a Sunday, woke up at six in the morning, got my stuff together, uh, got to the gym, worked out by seven o'clock, uh, worked out till about eight, got back to the house for like eight, 10, a buddy of mine, uh, came by and we went over investing for the week. We looked through the stock markets. We looked through uh, all that's happening in the uh, in the world currencies and such, we figure out what our trades are going to be for the well, for tomorrow, but for the week, whether they're going to be day trades or swing trades or whatever we're going to do, do that from about eight ten to about twelve um, to about ten forty five. At eleven o'clock, I leave the house and I drive out to a client, uh, close a deal. That's where the three thousand came from. Close a deal with a client, and then get back to my place for one o'clock when my social media manager um, or editor, social video editor comes by 
and we go over the footage for what we're going to um, put up uh, because the podcast, we actually shot one, uh, which is really cool, and it's going to be live on this channel very soon. Um, so he was editing that, and we're going over like what are the plans for going forward and such. Then I had a conversation with my social media manager um, about forward thinking and where we're looking to go, you know, like a year from now, a year from now out, what we're looking to do. And then, you know, it gets to about 4, 4.30. Then I drive out to a business meeting, and I've been at that meeting ever since. And it is now 8.19 at night. And I'm heading back to the house and I'm basically going to take a shower and then read up on um, different investment strategies for the markets just to get better at it because I study it every day because if I'm trying to put my money to work for me, I need to make sure to be well versed on it. But that's my day. That's my Sunday. (laughs) You know, and um, you know, it's not that I never have any fun, but when you're on this journey, you have to be prepared to know that this is the direction that you're going in. You're going in a direction that not many people are willing to travel because it's, it's fucking hard. It's, it's difficult. There's risks. You're by yourself. You have to build yourself up. You have to, um, constantly reevaluate yourself and what has to be made better You have to put yourself out there. You have to take action. You have to have balls to make stuff happen. You know, I mean, I put a lot of stuff on this channel that can be scrutinized, right? So what I'm getting at with all this is that, you know, there will be friendships that end up somewhat sacrificed. There will be relationships that will fall away. Um, You could always rekindle them. But the thing is, is that on this path, I want to be very clear If you are going to try to take this path and try to become successful and try to do the things, you know, pull out all the stops and do whatever it takes to make your your dreams come true, which is mine, I'm trying to get financially free as young as possible so that I can live the life that I want to live and, and live every day like it's a vacation, right? And I'm trying to pull that off in the next few years. In order to do that, it takes late nights, it takes early mornings, it takes lonely, lonely days. And that's, that's another one of the underbellies of success. And I experience it, you know, I I get down sometimes about it, because it's, it's very, uh, it's very frustrating, you know, and it it, it will eat at you. Um, And this is the stuff that people don't talk about, you know, you see those little memes or stupid shit on, on uh, Instagram, that are like, if you want to prepare for success, prepare for you know, prepare to be alone or something or have a lonely road or whatever these stupid memes are about that, that doesn't give you any contextual background to what actually it, what it actually takes. And so anyways, my day tomorrow is similar to the one today. And so will Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. These days are going to be all similar. Um, So it's like, in terms of feeling like frustrated about things and such, you know, I look back and I look at some of the memories that I have and I miss, I miss certain people in my life. You know, I miss, um, just going out. I, dude, I miss hanging out at the fucking hookah lounge, you know, going out there and just hanging out with friends of mine and having a good time and, you know, just like smoking hookah and drinking and just like chilling and then going for rides in our like souped up cars that we used to have when we were kids, Um, you know, teenagers and such, you know, racing motorcycles down the highway, pulling wheelies all over the place, having a blast, going to shows, you know, concerts, this, that, and the other, you know, I miss all that stuff. But, you know, those carefree times that's exactly what I'm trying to get back to. But I think at a, at a young age, I realized that if I don't get the finances in order early, that it's going to bite me in the ass for the rest of my life. And I'm not willing to live like that. I'm not willing to wake up every morning and go do something that I don't want to do. I am not willing to do that. So I'm willing to live like most people are not willing to live right now to live like most people can't later. 
which is exactly what I'm what I'm doing. You know, I want to get back to those carefree times. I want to get back to like just having a blast and such. But this is a journey and it's it's a dedication that you have to make if you really want to get to the levels that, you know, we talk about and that you see some people at. You have to understand that the sacrifices to be made in the the sheer time that you have to put into doing everything that is required if you're going to get there swinging for the fences and hoping you win the lottery you know whether figuratively uh, metaphorically or literally win the lottery and and get this life that you want that's not that's not how it works you know i am trying to make as much money as possible in the job that i have invest as best I possibly can and put all the puzzle pieces together so that I can live this amazing life later on. But I wanted to shoot this video for you on one of the more frustrating nights that just kind of has me thinking and kind of has me down a little bit because I definitely miss that stuff. So I've been trying to kind of balance out a little bit better, but you know, I'll tell you, the balance is very difficult when you have so many things that you have your hands in trying to make this stuff work for you and multiple streams of income and all that kinds of stuff. So, um, anyways, I don't know if this is an encouragement video. I don't know if this is just waking some people up who are saying that they want this. Think about it. Do you really want this? Cause I've been going like this for close to close to about six years now. And all of the work that I've been putting in for the last six years, you know all those overnight successes that you see? Those overnight successes are not overnight successes. Those overnight successes are people who put in the time, put in the effort behind the scenes that nobody gets to see, which is why I film this. And there's frustrating nights and there's difficult times and there's obstacles. Those overnight successes have been coiling themselves like a spring and just squeezing down and squeezing down and squeezing down and then all of a sudden they fucking launch and when they launch people think they're an overnight success I am beginning to launch you know currently I'm more successful than I've ever been in my life um, and it's becoming exponential for example last year I made my first six figures in I gotta get off the highway without crashing I made my first six figures by August, so it took me eight months. I made another six figures by December, so that took, here we go with math, four? Yeah, that took four months. So I basically made a hundred grand in eight months, then I made another hundred grand in the next four months. Well, that came from investing that money and not spending it on stupid shit, so it starts to become exponential. Um, now, I do not, for, for the record, I do not have $200,000. I'm just saying what I made before taxes and such, right? But what I'm trying to say is that it becomes exponential because you're coiling that spring. All of the work that you're putting in, all of the hours behind the scenes, all of the stuff that nobody gets to see is the spring that you are coiling more and more and more trying to make something of yourself and then it starts to launch and that's what everybody gets to see when you launch they don't get to see behind the scenes shit like this because a lot of people don't want to show this kind of stuff they don't want to show that they're frustrated or that they're down or that they're anything like that me I'm just trying to be real with you guys so think real carefully if this is what you want because everybody claims that they want it they want the end result but you got to be willing to put in all the work that's going to get you to that end result. So think real close. Think real good. Is this what you want? So I'll see you guys at the top. I'm hoping you're going to make that journey with me. Talk to you next time.